Can you file for defamation against the other parent while a custody battle with that other parent is pending? I cannot speak to what the law is in all jurisdictions, of course, but I can answer this question as it applies in the jurisdiction where I practice divorce and family law, which is Utah. Custody battles can arise between married and unmarried parents. Without conducting deep analysis of the question of whether one of you can file a defamation case against the other parent while you're both involved in a child custody case, I am aware of no legal prohibition against it, and while it is rarely advisable to ad engage in two different lawsuits with the same person at the same time, I can think of no reason why the pending child custody case, just a child custody case, not necessarily a divorce case, would cause any fatal legal or procedural impediments to successfully prosecuting a defamation case if the other case is pending simultaneously. In the divorce case of Noble v. Noble, 761 P. 2nd, 1369, Utah Supreme Court, 1988, you can read the pertinent part of that decision from the Utah Supreme Court, which I have paraphrased. We held in the divorce case of Walther versus Walther that it is imp improper to try a tort claim as such within a divorce action. Tort claims, which are legal in nature, should be kept separate from divorce actions, which are equitable in nature. As a practical matter, if spouses have tort claims pending against each other, which are likely to have a bearing on the outcome of the divorce action, those claims should be resolved prior to the divorce proceedings. To do otherwise may raise significant concerns if a fact question with respect to which a party has requested a jury and is entitled to a jury verdict is first decided by a judge in an equitable proceeding. The federal constitutional right to a jury trial of legal issues may be lost through prior ju judicial determination of equitable claims only in the most imperative circumstances. Walther v. Walter quoted another Utah Supreme Court case of Lord v. Shaw, in which the court observed there, quote, the trial court held that the plaintiff was barred by race judicata from suing her ex-husband for torts which occurred during the marriage because his liability for any tort should have been litigated in the divorce action. We do not comment on this ruling other than to observe that actionable torts between married persons should not be litigated in a divorce proceeding. We believe that divorce actions will become unduly complicated in their trial and disposition if torts can be or must be litigated in the same action. A divorce action is highly equitable in nature, whereas the trial of a tort claim is at law and may well involve, as in this case, a request for trial by jury. The administration of justice will be better served by keeping the two proceedings separate. The trial court should not have tried the wife's tort claim as part of this divorce action. That part of the award is therefore vacated." Close quote. 